Okay, so um, today I'm cooking on the boat, um, and uh, I've got my ingredients here. You can see it's a bit dark. Uh, got my ingredients there. I'm making a Thai curry, red Thai curry, wicked. And uh, it should be nice for later. I'm taking it over to uh, the boys later over on their boat on Keeley, um, which is a 40 foot yacht. Um, yeah, we're gonna have Thai curry tonight. And then in the morning, because it's almost my birthday, we're gonna get up at six in the morning and sail to the Channel Islands. So that should be pretty cool. And, and I'm gonna keep a bit of a video log because I've been getting behind a bit on video. But for now, uh, here's, uh, here's my uh, start of my Thai curry. Uh, and I'll show you what that's like in a, in a bit. Uh, so basically what I've done, it's a bit of cookery, cookery with Craig on the boat. Um, it's a quite a tight space, there's a very small galley in here as you can see. So what I've got is a uh, can of coconut milk, some paste, garlic, uh, so chopped vegetables and the chicken ready to go in and two pans. And um, yeah, two pans ready. So you can see how small the space I've got to work with. That's it. And this is the stove, which is on a gimbal, so when you're at sea swings like that back and forth so you don't get stuff everywhere okay all right um so i'm gonna start cooking now um, and i'll show you a little bit more in a bit cool so okay um this is step one of um making my red thai curry you've got to eat well when you're on a boat so um in there i don't know whether you can see but it's chicken it's a couple of pieces of chicken chopped up and uh basically um chicken in there, a coconut milk, and a little bit of coconut milk, and, and a red Thai paste, which is made up of garlic and spices and oil. And you just cook that through, make sure that's cooked through really well first, and then you can add your uh, vegetables and the rest of your rest of your coconut milk. Um, so that's stage one. So as you can see, I'm uh, frying off the, uh, frying off the chicken uh, with uh, coconut milk and then I put some garlic and paste and frying off some vegetables with some mushrooms, red onions and uh, two different types of peppers yeah, in with some garlic and then there's some spring onion going to go in with that. Chicken's cooking away nicely in there and then in a minute once the vegetables are fried off I'm going to add the chicken mix and the paste and then add the remainder of the coconut milk and then we just let that simmer and that should be it ready to go and then later I just cook up some rice Mm, and uh, red Thai curry, great. So, okay, I'm um, just gonna add a little bit of this, which is uh, Italian uh, virgin olive oil, uh, but it's infused with chilies and pink peppercorns and bay leaves. And I'm just gonna whop a little bit of that. Mm. Over the vegetables, just to give it a little chili taste, a little chili kick. Um, and that's basically they're nearly done and basically I'm gonna let them infuse with that chili oil a little bit and get the taste going in there and then the chicken and the paste is gonna go in with the vegetables and uh, nearly time to finish it off so lovely so that evening we had a red Thai curry on Phil's boat and that next morning we were up early and left Nos Marina okay so it's um, uh, about five in the morning and we're leaving Dartmouth Harbour and we're going to sail to uh, Guernsey uh, if all goes well weather conditions look favourable uh, and we're on Keeley uh, which is Phil Hemmings 40 foot yacht uh, yeah and it's a nice day so far um, and I hope we have a smooth ride there so that morning the wind was quite light so for the first half an hour or so we did motor because we wanted to make up some time because we wanted to arrive in the Channel Islands or near Guernsey at the right time because around the Channel Islands they have quite powerful currents especially in between where the islands are and they can run between well, they, some of them run up to nine knots. So if you imagine your boat can only go five knots and there's a 
nine knot current running against you, you're not going to be going anywhere. In fact, you're probably going to be going backwards. So we wanted to arrive at the right time. And also we didn't want to come in uh, to St. Petersport too late at night. So uh, we did a little bit of motoring, but then the wind picked up and we started to sail and everything was very nice. Also, you might have noticed in the last couple of episodes that I've been sailing on Phil's boat. Well, I, although these videos are coming out now and it's 2021, at this time it was still 2016 and I'd only had the boat for a few months. So uh, any opportunity that I could get to learn from someone else or go out with someone else, which is why you'll probably see in the last two episodes I'm spending some time on other people's boats not that I wasn't sailing myself but also when you're sailing yourself and you're single-handed um, you've got to do everything yourself so I was learning and single-handed so I had less time to pick up the camera because I always seem to be busy trimming sails or changing a sail or doing something or concentrating on what I was doing because I was still learning and it wasn't long we were out out sailing before some dolphins came along which I thought was a good sign it's supposed to be good luck and actually this was the first time that I was on a boat that I'd seen dolphins in the wild I'd been out on my boat a few times but I'd never seen any dolphins so this was the actual first time that I'd seen dolphins oh my god I was so excited um, I still get excited now when I see dolphins Uh, but I remember the first time, I'll never forget it, it was, and they they stayed with the boat for 35 to 40 minutes. Um, so we were just watching them and enjoying it. And it was a really lovely sail, but it was a long sail. Um, and at one point we, because the winds were quite light, we changed the, uh, we rolled in the Genoa and put out Phil's cruising chute, his Jenica. Unfortunately, the way it was set up or whatever, or I don't know what happened, but it kind of whipped round and uh, it uh, broke one of the blocks and tore through one of Phil's sheets, uh, which was not brilliant for him. But anyway, we put the Jenica away and carried on with the mainsail and the Genoa. probably a bit windy um, as you can see all round there's no land in sight whatsoever for the first time on a boat I'm on the helm and uh, there's no land in sight um, cruising we're approximately 49 degrees 47 minutes north Two degrees, 48 minutes, 30 seconds west. Um, and we're heading for uh, Guernsey. Um, we've just put the uh, mainsail back up and the Genoa. We did have the cruising shoe out for a, a bit, but it uh, started to whip and it snapped uh, a block um, and, and and shredded uh, one of the halyards, which was rather expensive and unfortunate. Um, okay, so it's 6.30, we've been sailing for 12 hours from Dartmouth and we're just turning to the Little Russell, the channel in um, Guernsey. So we're here.
So we arrived in Guernsey last night at 19.35 approximately and we're in St Petersport in Jersey now and we're going to go and have a look around today. Um, I'm just at the marina and uh, we're going to go and have a look around see what there is to see. <laughs> There's a crazy man behind me. That's, that's Barry. Okay and here's the marina. Lots of nice boats. Okay, so last night we went out and had something to eat. I had a steak and the guys had some fish pie and it was lovely. Uh, and that down there is a mullet. Just, yeah, a few mullet down there. And uh, then we spent the rest of the time that next day looking around Guernsey and uh, having a look around and we stopped. Uh, the weather was quite nice and uh, we stopped here and had uh, coffee and tea and uh, then we headed off exploring the rest of the island. We went up to the castle to um, go and see what was going on there and we were having a thoroughly lovely time. But Turkey, no matter what the Remain campaign has come out the right set, is first touch coming in with the EU. Well, they must be using that as a lever. Yeah, they are. Yeah. After a really lovely coffee, and after I finished listening to uh, Phil and Barry warble on about politics, it was time to get out and see a little bit more of the island. So at noon every day they set off the cannon, so we thought we'd watch this, it looked like a bit of fun. And although you can't hear it on this video recording, I've got to tell you, the cannon was extremely loud. You can just about, you can hear the people next to me screaming. It was extremely loud, although it doesn't sound loud on the video. Um, and afterwards we wanted to have our photos taken with the guys and we asked the lady to take the photo but she didn't realise that she'd actually press the button to record the video which was quite funny. That might be better there, yeah, that's it. That's right. I'm lower class. I look up to him. <laughs> Nothing's happening. He's middle class, he looks down on me. <laughs> He's not taking it, I don't think. Am I? It's modern technology too much for you. So. Yeah. Yeah.
Okay, so this is the last uh, blog, one of the last blogs I'm going to do for this little trip. We're on our way back from Guernsey. We've been there a couple of days. Uh, we went out and had a look around the island yesterday, but it was pretty miserable. We got on the bus and spent an hour just going around in the rain, but I'm sure it's lovely when the weather's a bit better. Uh, we set off this morning and headed south around the bottom of the island, uh, came around the bottom and then headed back into the channel. Uh, we've been out at sea now a few hours, um, but I did get to see some whales, so that was brilliant. I really wanted to, to, to do that and hope that we would, so I saw some whales. Um, and now we're just, we're about three or four hours from Dartmouth now, in the middle of nowhere, and it's quite nice. And we're just gonna have a coffee. And I'll just show you that we're making a good time now. We're making about six or seven knots, so I'll show you. So I had a really nice time in Guernsey. It was a shame the weather on the one day wasn't very good. It would have been nice to have a look at the beaches and spend a bit of time walking. But apart from that, we I had a really nice time. Went out for some food, went out for a few drinks. So thanks to Phil again, uh, letting me uh, stay on Keeley and um, giving me my first channel crossing adventure. We had dolphins in Wales and lots of fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, again, if you're interested and want to help, please subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up. It really helps. I much appreciate it. And um, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. So thanks for watching and take care. Mm -hmm.